If you're looking for the most basic, inexpensive bow there is, and you're just looking to get out and do some light duty shooting, or maybe you're just getting started in archery, I wanna show you an option from Hunting Door. Stick around. <music> Eleven Outdoors LLC is by no means a premier archery channel. Archery is just a part of what I do because I love it so much and I love the opportunity to review different kinds of bows and options that are out there for you. This is their traditional takedown Talioi bow. It's got a basic takedown setup like this. When you're ready to shoot this thing, just drop this down in here and put the string on it and you're ready to go. Voila. As far as draw weight, you can get anything from 20 to 40 pounds, but no heavier than that. As far as the limbs go, you've got wood here and epoxy resin running through here. It's got these PU leather wraps. Now, I will probably customize mine. I will probably take these off and do some type of black wrap here, maybe paint this. I, I like to, to paint my stuff and customize it from time to time because I'm not a big, big fan of this color scheme. Nevertheless, that's what you got. It's got a 28 inch draw length. As far as the arrow rest is concerned, you are the arrow rest and I can shoot this either way. I can shoot it traditional on the left or Mongolian style on the right. You can spend a lot or a little bit on a bow. I always like to encourage people to start small, you know, especially those looking to get out and shoot. My first bow was a PVC pipe bow. I saw a tutorial on it and the rest was history. I went and got some PVC pipes, some driveway markers, some paracord, and it was my first bow. Before then, I had never even owned one and that's really what got me into shooting. I'm only going to say this because I know people will ask, but I would not make this your predominant survival bow. I wouldn't try to use it for that. If you're looking for something compact that could be used for survival, I would check out their 60 pound compact folding survival bow. Don't get me wrong, 40 pounds can do a lot of damage and take a lot of various game, but I wouldn't hunt deer with this. I mean, this thing's 55 bucks. This is for the person who says, I think I'd like to get out and start shooting a bow, but I don't really know what to get and I wanna start small. But I will also say this, for 50 more bucks, you can get a full-blown takedown recurve bow from Hunting Door. I've done reviews on their compact folding survival bows and their takedown recurve bow, which comes with a ton of accessories. This one just comes as is. This is obviously not a long video. Uh, I feel like this bow speaks for itself. It is as basic as it gets. For whatever reason, I didn't find this one quite as easy to shoot. I don't know, maybe it's just the dynamic of the bow itself, the no arrow rest factor. You're not getting any bells and whistles with this kind of bow, but you're, not also, you're also not paying much for this. I'll drop a link to Hunting Door's website in the description. You can check out everything they've got. I discovered Hunting Door when I was searching for the compact folding survival bow and I happened to see everything else they had. They've also got just a lot of other things to choose from, a lot of arrows, arrowheads, different type of supplies that you may want to check out. Just a good one-stop shop for archery supplies. It takes two to three weeks usually to get your merchandise from them. I've reviewed two of their compact folding survival bows, a Mongolian bow, a takedown recurve and this one so i've now reviewed five bows from hunting door what it all comes down to is some people want to shoot a bow and they just don't have much cash well here's an option for you <laughs> that's all i got to say about that there it is ladies and gentlemen basic and inexpensive what's your thoughts on this bow i'd love to hear from you take care